Yeah, I, I don't think this story will ever get old. I'm going to tell him about this for years to come. Well, only on six, it is an incredible story of survival for one local family. Their newborn baby contracted COVID-19 in the NICU and spent six months fighting for his this life. This is really an amazing story, but tonight there is some good news to report. He's finally healthy enough to go home. WDSU's Morgan Lentis is live outside Children's Hospital. Morgan, I've been looking forward to this story all day. So happy to hear he's healthy enough to go home. Yeah, so it is really good news that we are happy to report. So baby Byron, believe it or not, has never spent a night outside of a hospital room, but that is about to change tonight. His mom tells me that is something to celebrate, and here at Children's Hospital, they agree. In New Orleans, there is always reason for revelry. I thank everybody at Children's Hospital for everything they did for him. But this celebration was months in the making six to be exact. He actually came from two row when he was two months and like right before he was getting ready to get discharged, he got COVID and they extended his stay for extra months. It is easy for mom Monshel Krupe to talk about now, but the beginning of Byron's life has been hard. He was born premature in April and contracted COVID over the summer from someone who didn't know they were sick. He eventually had to be hooked to a machine that acted as his heart and lungs. Premature babies like Byron are at high risk of having side effects from viruses. It was just a lot of fear. But miraculously, Byron got better. So well, in fact, he was discharged Wednesday. He went through a lot, and it's, it's, it's days like today that make us really excited to do our job. We were there as his parents packed up, ready to finally take him home. But before they left, his mom made this plea. Y'all, please get vaccinated, please. The family then headed to their car for a long night filled with affection. Kissing all over him. I probably won't sleep tonight. <laughs> I probably won't sleep tonight for looking at him and kissing him. It is going to be a good night for that family for sure. And we should mention, doctors say, look, this story is a really important reminder that getting vaccinated not only protects you, but it also protects others. Reporting live outside Children's Hospital, Morgan Lentis, WDSU News.